I was living with my mom, but my dad, my dad was a citizen in the U.S. He lived there for about 40 years. And uh, my dad, he a good, he a good guy. You know, he, he he work for a living. He do he do cabs. You know, he drive cabs for a living. Oh, uh, it was hard for me when I first got there, cause I don't speak any English. I had to get my English right. Yes, second language. I had to learn that. And you know, I I play soccer for 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 the high school. You know, I I like it. Start hanging with the guys that smoking weed, you know, drinking. So you know, once you know you you drinking a lot, you don't have your your good control. You know, you do things that you really don't wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Instead of me deal with him the right way, you know, if I call the police, get the police report done. I I go the one way about it. I put my hands on buddy. You know what I'm saying? When I when I you know what I'm saying, get to fighting with him, there's a lot of guys that was there that know me, you know what I'm saying? And they took the wallet. Yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised because I never, I never, I never, I'm a legal permanent resident. So why, why should I have problem with immigration? You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I'm thinking, you know, but that ain't where it's at. I stay in immigration for a year and a half. Find my case, cause you know you still got the right to find your case against them, you know. And the judge ordered me deportation. I appeal my case from the bar of immigration, whatever. And uh, they don't work. They order me deportation. Yeah, I was happy because I spent too much time in immigration, jail time. I was happy to come home anyway it is U.S. or Haiti. I was just ready to be free. They take me picture of it in the holding cell, but the holding cell holding like. 15, 17 people in the low cell. And ain't nowhere to sleep. You know, people sleeping on top of the people. The jail condition is not good at all. No, I was inspecting freedom. And that that's, I mean, I, I, I did my time. I, I, pay, I pay for what I did. So I ain't no way I should be coming here and, and, and go go back to jail. It's it's a violation of my right. My plan is trying to get a business here in Haiti and be stable, you know, at least where I can send some money to my kids to come down here visit me. I, I need money. I need to work a job, do do something to to provide for myself. Right now, I can't provide nothing. <laughs>